Why Not Chess organization was founded by Tony Dunlap Sr. Tony has always had a love and appreciation for the game of chess, dating back to his middle school years when he first learned to play. Wanting to pass along his appreciation for the game of chess, Tony has spent thousands of hours promoting, teaching, and coaching the game of chess. In order to further those efforts, the Why Not Chess organization was developed and has since partnered with several chapters of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated to host scholastic chess tournaments around the country. These are not your ordinary chess tournaments as they offer many unique opportunities for the participants to be engaged and have fun. Let's take a look at one of those tournaments. Thank you for tuning in to the Inside Sports Report right here on TV20. I'm your host, Christian Patterson. The Brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Delta Alpha Lambda Chapter, welcome students, family, and friends to the fifth annual Cleveland Scholastic Chess Open. The day was full of fun, laughter, fellowship, and of course, chess. While assisting their efforts to raise scholarship funds for the youth as they pursue their academic endeavors. Here's more from the fifth annual Cleveland Scholastic Chess Open. This is our fifth year. And today I think we have 173 kids registered playing in this tournament. And that's the largest. Uh, we started out, I think the first year we might have 118. That's grown every year. My goal is to see any scholastic tournament in Northeast Ohio, not just this one, but all of them, where there's at least 300 kids playing chess. Parents realize that getting their children involved in different types of activities will only help them in life. Well, I, never, I really didn't play much chess with growing up, but I thought, hey, if this is something else besides um, soccer or art or music, just another avenue for them to get to broaden their horizons and learn. I thought it was great opportunities. This tournament's wonderful. Tony Dunlap does an awesome job, you know, inspiring these kids. He has so many different ways that just to get them here is, is just wonderful. To have scholarships for the, the seniors and the, those high school kids, it's so, in, in, you know, it's inspirational for them. Um, it shows that there are people that value what they do too, and I think that's important to know that um, somebody else looks up to them. It, it's just great. Tony does an awesome job. Throughout the tournament's history, over 400 students have participated. The tournament is making a difference by engaging students in chess, a sport that fosters numerous skills. Because of the investment in the Cleveland Scholastic Chess Program, youth will have the opportunity to further their education and have access to opportunities that will enrich their lives and make the world a better place. To my knowledge, we're the only tournament where the high school winner can pick between four available scholarships, and we're trying to grow that list. And those colleges right now is the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, University of Akron, uh, Alabama A&M, and the Hampton Alumni Group has $1,000 if the, if the student wished to go to one of those schools. And then we have a college division where we give a job internship, and it started with GE, GE Corporation, and this year we added First Energy. So right now the high school winner, I mean the college division winner, can pick between two job internships, uh, GE Corporation and First Energy. And that's something no one did until we did with GE uh, three years ago. And I hope to grow both of those lists. My fraternity, um, we pride ourselves on being first, but one of the things that we try to do is to give back to the community and help the youth within our community. Uh, we have um, mentorship programs. We actually have three, but with the Scholastic Chess, providing kids the opportunity to increase the skills that they need to be successful in school. To play chess and be successful at chess, uh, it takes concentration, analytical skills, and patience, and a whole lot of other skills to be successful in chess. Those are also the same skills you need to be successful in school, and the fraternity realizes that. And so, like, like if we can get the kid, we keep him off the street, uh, try to keep them in school, tell them to stay in school, and along with this tournament, also to provide a job. That's a full circle. Go to school, stay in school, go to college, and now try to help, help them get a job. I think that's uh, I think it's a powerful tool. Now, hopefully, others will try to do exactly what we're doing, and we'll have more kids playing chess, more kids having scholarship and job opportunities. 